Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray from Fandroid, and today we are doing a smartphone camera comparison with the all new Pixel 4 and comparing that with the iPhone 11 Pro, which we're using to record right now. As we do in all of these smartphone camera comparisons, we're gonna be recording this on these two devices. So make sure you keep an eye on the bottom left-hand corner to see which device is being used at a specific time. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the specifications to see how the cameras on these two phones compare. We're gonna start things off with the specifications of the iPhone 11 Pro. And what you're looking at here on the back of the phone are three 12 megapixel cameras with a standard ultra wide and then a 2X telephoto. And all of these are capable of recording 4K video at 60 frames per second. And then when flipping the phone around to the front facing camera, you're also looking at another 12 megapixel camera that can record 4K video as well. And again, at 60 frames per second. When it comes to the Pixel 4's square camera module on the back, you actually only get two sensors in there, a standard 12 megapixel and then a 16 megapixel with a 2X telephoto. And then flipping things around to the front facing camera, you get an eight megapixel camera there as well. This one can record 1080p video at 30 frames per second, while the rear cameras can only record 4K video at 30 frames per second as well. Now that we've taken a look at the specifications of these two smartphones, we're gonna jump in and show you some side-by-side -side photo and video comparisons between these two devices to show you how they actually perform in the real world. Let's take a look. capturing video on both phones here. And the lighting in this room isn't really ideal, but the white balance is strikingly different between these two devices. The iPhone makes the carpet here look gray, while the Pixel 4 makes it look like it is a sky blue. It is closer to a blue color, uh, but neither of these two devices are really hitting the white balance at this point.
This year, the Pixel 4's addition of that secondary sensor on the back of the phone to give it a 2x zoom is a big improvement over last year since it only had the standard sensor on the back of the phone. That being said though, just having the one sensor while the iPhone has three with that ultra wide lens on the back does make a big difference here as you can see when you can go from the standard lens all the way to the zoomed out ultra wide lens for that bigger panoramic shot of everything that's around you. One of the things that I'm really excited about is that this year the Pixel 4's audio quality while recording video is a lot better than it was on last year's Pixel 3, which honestly was pretty horrendous and embarrassing for Google. As you can hear though, it's still not as good as what you can get out of the iPhone 11 Pro, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And this should give you a good idea of what the image quality or the video quality will look like when capturing video with both of these devices. Just a reminder, the iPhone does have an ultra wide sensor and lens in addition to the standard. And then both do have a 2X telephoto, which allows them to get in closer to the subject to get a closer view. As far as optical image stabilization goes, they do a pretty good job on both devices here while walking around just going down some steps, keeping the video as steady as possible. And the video clips do look really good on both devices with no highlights overblown while still pulling out some details in the shadows. And this is a look at the front facing cameras on both of these devices. As a reminder, the iPhone can record 4K video at 60 frames per second while the Pixel 4 only captures 1080p and this is a look at video from the front facing camera from both of these devices. Just as a reminder, the iPhone can capture 4K video at 60 frames per second, while the Pixel 4 can only do 1080p video at 30 frames per second. So that's gonna do it for this camera comparison between the Pixel 4 and the iPhone 11 Pro. Personally, I think the Pixel 4 does have a slight edge when it comes to taking pictures with slightly better dynamic range, better white balance, and of course that digital zoom, which is pretty amazing. But the iPhone does come out on top when you wanna record video with 4K 60 frames per second from all four sensors on this phone. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and which device you would rather own take pictures and videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.